In this video, we will show you how to create the fast zoom effect from the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once in Wondershare Filmora. To create this effect, first, shoot a video in front of a green screen, pretending like someone is dragging or pushing you back. Next, download a background clip from a free stock video website and drop it into your video editor. Then, adjust the speed duration to 200, which will automatically set the clip duration to 2 seconds in Filmora. Turn on the transform keyframes at the start, go to the 1 second, and change the scale to 700. This will create a bit more speed. Change the position X to 249 and Y to 607. Now place the playhead one frame before the end and change the scale to 3000, with position X at 920 and Y at 2123. Next, go to the color settings and adjust the temperature to 0.7, exposure to 62.5, brightness to 27, contrast to negative 36.6, vibrance to negative 4.1, and saturation to 49.6. Under Boris FX in the effects panel, apply the directional blur effect and adjust the blur amount to 7, angle to 101.3, and thin to 0.8. You can also apply the zoom blur effect to enhance the impact of the movement. Add your green screen clip to track 2, and adjust the duration to 2 seconds in the speed settings. Then apply the chroma key effect from the AI tools to remove the green screen and add an adjustment layer. In the color settings, change the temperature to 17.2, exposure to negative 9.4, and brightness to negative 20.6, contrast to negative 64.2, vibrance to negative 75, and saturation to negative 10.6. Next, go to the curves and make slight adjustments to alpha, red, and green to enhance the color balance. Moving on, apply the extreme shake effect under the video effects and set the duration to 2 seconds while adjusting the frequency to 94.3. After that, apply the tint effect and choose a light skin color. Set the tint to 8.9, saturation to 20.3, and brightness to negative 10.6. Keep the effect for 2 seconds. Then, apply the S-Log3 effect, change the opacity to 55, and keep it for 2 seconds as well. Lastly, apply the cinematic bar effect and adjust the height to 0.1, keeping it for 2 seconds to give the video a cinematic look. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.